and know that it's exploitable. So we've, we've been working on a few ways of exploiting it. So um, there's two main things that we're going to do. We're going to use the semicolon to add new parameters or we're going to use the semicolon to add existing parameters. And I'm going to refer now to something that I guess most of you know because it's been there for a couple of years now which is HTTP parameter pollution. When you have HTTP parameter pollution, the, the uh, way that works is you are, you, you're going to have one parameter du duplicated. So in your URL you're going to have uh, twice two different values for the same parameter. Depending on what system you're using, that's going to behave differently. One platform, one, one set of technologies is going to take the first one, another is going to take the second one. The most dangerous one is where sometimes you're going to use the first one and sometimes you're going to use the second one, so you can use that to uh, go over filters in that. Um, so we, we have something very, very similar here. We, actually, we have the same here. We have a parameter uh, pollution behavior and the way it works in this case is whichever happens last, that's what counts. So if, I, if in my string I have a value twice, uh, oh sorry, I have two uh, parameters twice, the second one is gonna, I'm going to use. So if you look at the slide at the top, that would be my, my string, right? Then if I start reading left to right, I have value A for my first parameter. So that's fine. I have value B for my second parameter. That's fine. But then I repeat my first parameter with value C. Then what's going to happen is that value A is not there anymore. Value C is what counts. And the same for the second parameter. That's quite nice because you can rewrite the whole connection string, which is very good. Uh, and this is how it works. Like the, the previous slide was a generic example. This is a, uh, uh, how you modify the database connection object uh, through the string. So you first usually have the data source, uh, which would, whichever value. Then you have your username. Then you have your password. But then, as your password, as your password, you can do something semicolon data source equal something different. And then you're changing the database that the application is going to connect to. So. How can you use that? Well, you can use that, for example, to uh, scan uh, servers that you would not be able to scan because there's a firewall. Since the web application server is inside the network and the database server is inside the network, they can connect to each other, but you probably cannot connect to the database from outside or to many other servers from outside because there's a, fir a firewall. However, we've just seen that I can Overwrite the uh, data source parameter with whichever I want. So if in my string I overwrite that to another internal server, I can just um, try to be using this application with uh, development uh, data server with maybe uh, pro uh, data that has not been released so far, uh, important information uh, inside the company like financial things, stuff like that, or even things that are, has been there and are not maintained anymore. Uh, but there's another, uh, well, go ahead. There's another good thing that I can do, which is I can change the data source to a server that I control outside. And since most of the times the firewall is going to be allowing outbound connections, then if I change the data source to a server that I control, I'm actually getting the credentials, like the hash of the credentials. So I can use that to try to, uh, yeah, dictionary tags or whichever. Uh, when you specify the value for the data source, you specify the, port, the server and the port. So same that we've just seen how to scan different servers, you can scan different ports. So the, the, the way it works is exactly the same. After, the, after whichever uh, field in the, data, in, the data, uh, in the connection string where you can inject something, you do semicolon and then uh, override the data source. In this case, uh, trying different ports to do a port scan of a server that was not accessible to you before because of the firewall. Um, that's how you um, change a parameter, right? You, we just change it, the data source to whichever. We've polluted the parameter. But you can also add a new parameter that was not there. The data string, the connection string that we've seen at the beginning is like the most simple string that you, that you can have with those four parameters. But there's more stuff that you can do here. And in this case, you can see that I can use my data source, my username, my password, but then I can uh, inject 
other information that wasn't there before, like integrated security equals true. This parameter is the one that defines the behavior between the two ways of authenticating that, that I've been explaining before. Integrated, uh, integrated security equals no means that I handle the, uh, the authentication by myself inside the database. Authentic integrated security equals true is I'm, I'm going to use system and database uh, accounts for this. So let's see this, uh, this behavior in some demos in real with some commercial products. And first of all, let's analyze what kind of attacks can be done. So the first one, we can steal the system account of the web server. The idea is to steal the hash, and it's quite simple. First of all, we need a raw server in which we are going to, to run a SQL server that we, we are able to manage. Then we are activate one sniffer on it, and then we only have to rewrite the data source parameter into the connection stream, and of course, set the integrated security equals to true. That means that the credentials that, that are going to be used are the operating system credentials. And in this case, it's the web application which is uh, try with the one which is trying to connect to the database. And the web application is running on the web server. So the operating system account that is going to be used is the operating system account of the web server. Understood? So it's quite simple. Let's suppose that we got this connection stream. So attacker only has to inject something like semicolon data source equals to row server password empty semicolon integrated security equals to true. That's an example with ASP.NET Enterprise Manager, which is a product that is on the internet in a lot of places. And the idea is quite simple. In this example, as you can see, we just use semicolon data source to uh, an IP address, and then just integrated security equals to true. It's a very bad product. As you can see, you can, you can read the password <laughs> even on the screen. But, and of course, you get access, you, if you have kind running on your machine, you can, read, uh, you can read the hash of the, of the system account, which is quite simple. Attack number two, a poor scanning attack. In this example, we are going to uh, duplicate the data, the data source parameter and we are going to use the, as the data source the target server, the, the server that we want to, to scan. So we only have to change the target port and check the error messages. In this example, if we obtain a no TCP connection, that means that the, the port is closed. If we re retrieve a uh, um, uh, no SQL server or no database and discovered, then the port is open. And if we retrieve something like invalid password, then the SQL server is there, which is very good. So in this example, with this connection string against a SQL server 2005, the idea is just to inject something like semicolon data source equals to target server target port in the user ID and in the password just something like semicolon integrated security equal to true. This is a commercial product which is MySQL, my, my little admin and in it you got a, a panel to connect to your database and just trying to discover if Google is answering in the 80 port, you retrieve something like a connection was successfully established with the server and blah, 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 blah. But if you try the 1420 port, you retrieve something like there's, and there's nothing listening there. The third attack is uh, quite simple. The idea is just, okay, the web server has a system account that is in the company, the database is in, is in the company. Why are you asking me a credential? Use your credential and get me in, which is the idea. So duplicate the data source parameter, then set uh, integrated security equals to true, and that's all, because the application is going to take its credential to connect again the database, and we are going to have a connection to the application. So the idea is quite simple, just in this database, in this connection string, only, the only thing that we need to inject is data source equals to target server and integrated security equals to true. Quite simple. In this example, web data administrator, which is, it was a Microsoft application. In 2004, it releases as an open source tool, and right now it's, uh, it's not uh, depending on Microsoft. But the idea is similar, it's the same. We got 
the username and password to connect to the database. So data source equals to the database. Password uh, set as integrated security equals to true. And then just we get into the control panel. And of course, you get access to all the users and so on. So you can do the same with the rest of the products that we've been uh, seeing before. And in this example, you can see better how it works. This is the connection string information that you can see when you get into a my little admin, uh, my little admin control panel. And in this example, you can see that we got one data source that is pointing to the original database and our data source, which is pointing pointing to the local host server and then the integrated security is equals to no in the original query in the original connection string and in our connection string is set up set to true so in this example the last value wins so it's quite simple and we can do the same of course with the ASP.NET enterprise manager so semicolon data source equals to whatever and semicolon integrated security equals to true and you get into the database so this we've been talking about uh, how usually .NET applications connect to SQL server uh, uh, databases but this uh, if we want to extend this to other it, my SQL doesn't really <coughs> extend this um, you can uh, so doesn't really does, it doesn't support integrated security. But if you're using a uh, .NET application with a connection string to con to to connect to your to MySQL uh, database, you still can do all the other stuff that we're doing, like the post scanning and stuff. Um, with Oracle, it it works. It works uh, all everything that we've said works, like scanning and it, the the whole integrated security. It even works on Unix accounts and. It is also there's a, this sysdba thing that you can use in Oracle to kind of use your users, kind of a super user, to do every administration thing that you want to do in the database. So that's something that you can even do if you if your uh, database here is Oracle. You will just uh, append to your connection string this sysdba thing, and then your user has full control there. So let's see this in action. We got a. Uh, uh, a testing environment in this example is a Windows 2003 and we the, the password and let's open Internet Explorer and let's connect to different parameters so connection string so let's start with the ASP.NET <coughs> This is this is the connection string. Uh, this is the control panel for a Microsoft SQL Server. There are a lot of control panel like this on the internet. Any of you are using this software to manage a database? <laughs> no. Well, the idea is quite simple. We need to use only one tool. It's the most powerful tool ever created, which is the Notepad, <laughs> and just integrated security equals true. That's all. Then right button, copy. It's in Spanish, but you know, in Spanish. So the user is test. The user is test and we are going to try to ch to to uh, duplicate the parameter pollution to local host. In this example it's the same because you can set up a, in this field uh, whatever servers but to do this, we are going to connect to the White House. It's not going to connect to the White House because the last parameter wins, you know. <laughs> and then text integrated security equal to true and connect. And that's all. And you get into the control panel. It's so easy. You can do the same on internet. It's so easy. Just to do doing this. But it's illegal, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so web web data administrator, the same idea. Username um, Palaco. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Palaco and uh, data source equals to local host. In this example is a uh, it's a SQL, uh, SQL, uh, SQL Server Express edition, so we need to use uh, 
Oh, we need to use to use to use the uh, it's not here ah, integrated security equals to true just paste and get into